Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and I'm here to show you how to do network instantiation. So basically, we always want to be able to take an object and instantiate it on the scene, especially when we have a bunch of players. So let's imagine that we have, uh, when we start up a scene, we drop in a car or a vehicle or a player a character, and then everybody has to be able to see that player, so they have to be buffered. So I'm going to go over how we can set all that up. I'm going to just do it with a simple cube, but uh, all in all, it's, it would fit into any other kind of scale. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start up a new scene here inside Unity, so it's a blank new scene. Now that I'm in here, I want to uh, set up my guy. Uh, you can see that inside of my prefabs, I have this guy character. And it's nothing, it's nothing fancy, it's just a cube. And this cube has a move script, which I'll post on the site, uh, which just allows me to press the arrow keys to move it up and down. And it derives from the networked mono behavior, which you can watch that tutorial if you haven't seen it yet. So we want to spawn this character and be able to move it up and down uh, on the, over the network. And uh, so the cube is actually not going to be in the scene when we start it up. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over here to the scripts folder that I have here. You put it in any folder. I'm going to create a script and I'm going to call it uh, make player. So now we wait for Visual Studio to open. And then we reopen the file again so it populates. There we go. Let me make this bigger. It's hard to see. All right. So uh, the very first thing we're going to do is probably the most important part. We're going to be using beardedmanstudios.network. And uh, now we're going to just make a normal mono behavior. All it's going to be doing is instantiating our guy. So I'm going to make a private void start. Inside of the start, I'm going to say if networking dot primary socket. No, not primary. There we go. Primary socket dot connected with the uppercase C. That's an event. Uh, networking dot instantiate guy. And then we want to say who are who is it that is receiving this? I'm going to say network receivers all buffered. I'm going to use all buffered because if I just say all, it goes to everybody that's currently inside of on the server, but it doesn't go to new people. We want it to go to new people when they join late. We want them to be able to have everybody's character. So we're going to be using all buffered. Else, if we are not connected, we're going to set up the delegate in order to uh, what to fire whenever we connect. So I'm going to say networking dot primary socket dot connected this time we are using the event and we're just gonna make an inline delegate here I'm gonna say networking I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna copy this line rather than typing it all out again we're basically gonna do the same line could have made that into a function but hey uh, so now I'm gonna do private void update and instead of here I want to uh, show another feature just to show that the uh, players are moving around uh, and uh, we're able to see that we get uh, position. So I'm going to say for each networking player, player in networking uh, dot primary socket dot players. And we're going to do a simple debug dot log player dot position because we have access to all the players' positions. And we only want to do this if we're the server. So if uh, networking dot primary socket is server and we're gonna call this for each in this debug alright so our main thing this is more of a, a, a treat down here but our main thing is our network instantiate the variable or the string of the object name that we're going to instantiate and then who is receiving it which is all buffered so let's set up the next part of this the next part is actually using the network manager so I'm gonna type in uh, networking manager, if I can spell correctly. Uh, there it is, networking manager. I'm going to put it in the scene, and you'll notice that there's a network instantiate. This is a list of the objects that are going to be able to be instantiated across the network. Uh, so we're going to take our guy, spelled G U Y with a capital G, and drag that into the network instantiate so it extends the list. If we looked at our code, we named this exactly the same name as the object we have here. So it matches one to one. Now I'm going to go to my script. I'm going to grab my make player, drop, drop that onto any object in my scene. I'm just going to put it on the network manager for now. It makes it simple. I'm going to save out my scene. I will save it as game. All right. 
Uh, so now I'm going to test it out, make sure my cube actually spawns when I start up. So I'm going to go to the menu scene. I'm going to play. And I'm going to hit start server. And you'll see my cube actually spawned into the scene here. Uh, and it's all set up, and this is player is checked to true. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build this out, and we will see it spawning across the network, at least across the local host. So now that it's built out, it takes forever. I'm going to go to display one, press play. I'm going to go over here, snap my editor. All right, I'm going to play in the editor. I'll make the editor my server so I can see my hierarchy uh, and manage it. So there's our cube for our server. I'm going to hit start client. There's our cube you can see popped in on our client. And down here, it's debug logging our, our client's position. So let's move the server out of the way. Notice when I move the client's position, it'll update the position over here inside of the console. But we'll have a separate, uh, an entirely separate tutorial to talk about that. That's just a little, a little treat. So that's how you can spawn these objects across the network uh, using Network Instantiate. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. And uh, let us know if you have any questions. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.